with the clarity of the monitor. Now let's talk about height and distance. If the monitor is placed in an awkward position, your neck and shoulder muscles could become tired or strained. Height-wise, the top of your monitor should be slightly below eye level. Usually this can be accomplished by simply placing the monitor on top of the computer itself. Some of the newer Apple monitors come equipped with stands, or you can purchase a monitor stand separately. Distance-wise depends on your preference. Average distance is anywhere between 18 to 28 inches. The important thing to check is that your desktop is deep enough to suit your distance needs. Once again, monitor stands and extensions are available through outside vendors should your desktop not suit your preference. Here's another tip. If you spend a lot of time working from hard copy, purchase a stand or clipboard that allows you to place your paperwork at the same distance from your eyes as the monitor. Continuously focusing your eyes between two distances may also lead to eye fatigue, neck strain, and headaches. Also, remember to blink your eyes to reduce dryness. And take frequent rest breaks by glancing away to distant objects. You should also have your eyes checked by an ophthalmologist or an optometrist. Statistics show that more than 30% of the population are in need of corrective lenses. You might be one of them. Furthermore, some computer operators may need special glasses to work at this distance. Consult your vision care specialist to determine your need. You might want to put the same kind of thought into the other tools you use during your workday, like your phone. Make sure it's easy to reach. If you spend a good amount of time using your phone, consider investing in a headset. You'll feel a lot better at the end of the day. It's really important that we take breaks throughout the day. If you think about it, our bodies are really designed to move, and we need to have a lot of movement. If I had you put your arms up in the air only for a few minutes, you could feel the fatigue. So it's important that we move throughout the day and take a lot of breaks. But no matter what kind of computer you work on, even the best ergonomically designed workstation is only a step toward creating a healthy, comfortable work environment. Take positive steps to manage the stress in your life. Experts tell us that stress plays an extremely important role in determining our health and well-being. Take frequent breaks and stretch. Design your workday so you alternate your keyboard time with other activities. If you start to develop discomfort related to your work environment, talk to a qualified health consultant. Okay, let's do a quick review here. Adjust your chair height so your feet are flat on the floor. Position your keyboard so the height is horizontal to your elbows with minimum tilt of the wrists. Position your mouse at the same height as your keyboard. Set up your monitor so that the top of the screen is slightly below eye level. Position the monitor to avoid glare and keep the screen free of dust. Make sure your monitor's brightness and contrast controls are properly adjusted. Take frequent breaks, change your posture often, and design alternate activities into your work schedule. Make an appointment with a qualified health professional if any problems develop. Here at Apple Computer, we like to think that the Macintosh is a little more than the average personal computer. We design Apple Computer systems for the individual, you, and we think that shows. If you're sitting in front of an Apple Computer, you're sitting in front of the best in the industry. Let your office setup reflect it. Your work environment is a system designed by you. All these tips will help you utilize your workstation to maximum potential. And who wouldn't want to achieve that? 
So now you know, work smart and have fun doing it.